All right, hey, what's going on guys? Sam here, back again with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make about 5,600 XP to level up in NBA 2K21, and you can make a lot of MT at the same time. So let's go ahead and get right into it. And some of you guys might know this if you're on Twitter because it's kind of the hot news this morning or today because we didn't get any new content uh, in 2K today, or I guess we did. It's, it depends if you want to call agendas content, but I'm gonna call it content. We got some content today, and this is like the only content. And if you see, you go to season agendas here and scroll all the way down to the Eastern Conference Central Division and Eastern Conference Atlantic Division, you see that they've added more challenges or agenda challenges, whatever you want to call them. And then they added even more to the Emerald Token Reward cards. So yeah, and you look at these XP maps. There's a bunch of them. We start with the Central Division, which by the way, if you complete all these in the Central Division, this gives you about, let's see, 1,700, 1,700 XP. No, sorry, 14, 1,450 or 1,450 for this one. And these are very, very easy. 12 points with Chris Middleton, easy. Zach Levine, eight dunks. Uh, it's Zach Levine, that's easy, eight dunks. Rebounds, I believe this is 14 in one game. I saw someone say that they didn't get it and it was over two games. So I believe this is 14 in one game for Andre Drummond. So that one might be a little difficult, but again, just get a big lead and just chuck up bricks and tell him to cut to the hoop and you can get some offensive rebounds. So bonus, this one, four offensive, that might be kind of tough too. I'm gonna say out of all these, this, this bonus one might be the toughest because it's four offensive rebounds. But like I said, same thing for the Andre Drummond. All you have to do is tell this player to cut to the hoop and chuck up a brick and then manually box out and. Honestly, I don't think that's too hard for myself, but I can see how some people might think that's difficult. So if you complete all these, you get 1,450 XP, which is definitely nice. If we go to the Atlantic, we got the Blockness Monster. I kind of like the names of these challenges. We got Mitchell Robinson, two blocks. That's pretty easy because I think he has like a long wingspan. We got the Process, Joel Embiid, six points, one steal. That is super easy. The steal is going to be the hardest part, and I'm sure an entire game you can get one bump steal. We got Kemba. 20 points, 5 assists, easy. Spicy P, 3 assists, 16 points, easy. And then Uncle Drew, double doubles. Kyrie Irving, easy. You can score and you can get assists. And you get 650 for that. And if you complete that, I believe that's 1,700 XP. If I uh, wrote down this correct, I'm pretty sure it's 1,700 XP. And then if you go down here to the Emerald Reward Market, this is where it's just super, super crazy. We got... 350 XP starting off if you get eight layups with Stacey Augment in a single domination game. So if you're gonna be grinding domination anyway, this should be easy. Just go for layups, just call the quick through STS play. I mean, it's not what it's called this year, but call one of those plays where, you know, it's easy cut to the hoop and just go for layups. And I, I feel like that's super easy. Stacey Augment, if you don't have him, it costs you three tokens in the token market, super, super easy. And I believe there's a challenge in the quarter three up here where you just have to buy one of these players from the market, which I need to buy an Emerald. So and I don't think I have him. So there's another 100, 100 XP. But going back to this, we got Bobby Jackson. Pretty sure everyone has Bobby Jackson because he's like the best Emerald card, 50 assists. That'll take you some time, but you could probably do it in two games if you really tried. We got Myers Leonard. Now this is definitely the toughest one uh, because you need 35 three pointers. And that is quite a, quite a lot because even with the shooting buff online, you're not gonna be shooting it's gonna take you a long time. So for this one, I recommend you go to the pro difficulty challenges, which by the way, I have a video on that. If you guys wanna go watch that, I might leave it in the description or in the comments if you wanna watch that. But basically I've been getting three pointers easily by just going to challenges and just choosing pro challenges. So there's none in the moments. Oh, they're back. I swear these weren't here. Maybe, maybe I'm just wrong, but if you go to these pro challenges right here, and I specifically think the jazz one's the best. And it's pro difficulty click on this and then if you just use the right stick to shoot i know some people don't like the right stick but this is a perfect opportunity for you to practice the right stick and make a lot of threes with uh myers leonard but all you have to do is kind of call for a screen get your get the defender stuck on a screen on a screen even if it's not a lot of space just 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 pull up anyway just pull it with the right stick and with the boost and everything and with it being on a low difficulty i've hit 57 percent contests before so i definitely recommend just go do pro challenges for the three pointers i probably would i probably will save that to the end myself, the Myers Leonard, but I can see how people think that's really difficult. And I, I definitely think that's probably the toughest one because you have to go to a pro game and 35 and one pro game might be kind of tough too. But definitely save that one for last. I went right by the challenges. Here we go, going back. We got Isaac, we got Austin, or Isaac Austin, 35 points in the paint. That one, 
uh, you could probably do that too. It's I think 35 points in the paint will count if you're cutting to the hoop. So that's that's super easy. And then the last one, 40 rebounds with Ethan Thomas. That one might be kind of tough because he, uh, he, you know, he's probably not a good rebounder because he's an emerald, but it's not in one game. It's not in one game. It's not in two games. It's for as many games as you want. So 40 rebounds, you'll get that eventually. And look at this, 500, 500 XP, 400, 350. And like I said, if you do all these, you get... 5,620 XP, and then if you just do the emeralds for some reason, this gives you about 2,500 XP. So a lot of ways to make XP, and just for a reference, I'm level, what, 25? And if we go all the way down here, 5,000 XP from where I'm at currently, that'll easily get me to level 26 in a good way into level 27. So this is great. I know I'm pretty far. I've heard a lot of people say they're somewhere between 20 and like 20. Five. I honestly haven't seen anyone above 20. I don't think I've seen anyone with this Kyle Lowry. I'm sure there is, but I haven't seen anyone with Kyle Lowry, which that card looks somewhat decent and you can get XP from him. But yeah, this will definitely get you. If it gets me up a level and gets, yeah, gets me up a level and a half, then I definitely, it'll definitely help you out. So I definitely recommend you do, do those challenges, especially if you're doing domination. And now just quickly, so we can get into uh, making the MT. Cause I did say you could make a lot of MT, MT from this. So yeah, it's not going to be a market update video if you guys watch those, but uh, very similar concepts. So since all these players, I guess we'll go back quickly. Since all these players are required for XP and people obviously want XP, you can already bet that these cards uh, or these players are going to be in high demand or going to be in demand more than they regularly are. So I wrote down all these players and you can go through them yourself. Um, and I will tell you the guys that are the most expensive right now. Um, I'm gonna, we'll just start with the most expensive one. It's the Mitchell Robinson, I believe. The Mitchell Robinson, uh, I was gonna recommend you guys to siphon from anything under under 6,500. Like, it's kinda crazy. Actually, it's not that crazy because he's a gold card and the gold cards are kinda, are more rare than the emeralds and stuff. But Mitchell Robinson's going for quite a bit of MT right now. Look at this. I was gonna recommend you guys snipe him for about 50, not 56, 6,500 and under because he's going for, I believe, Oh, ooh, I kind of want to buy that. So not 6,500. I would say probably 57 now. Uh, but yet, obviously, you have to you have to check the price yourself and take into account the 10% tax. But look at this. He's going for 6,500. So you could definitely set up some snipe filters, not just for Mitchell Robinson, for but for all these players that are in demand because you already know those so quickly. So Mitchell Robinson, for example, I'd probably you know since he's going for like 6,500, I'd probably I'd probably set this to like 56 because prices do change and obviously. You know, you can go up a little bit more, but I do want a little bit higher of a margin when I make when I actually get a snipe. So I do 5,600, and I want to take into account just in case this price drops. So I'd probably do 5,600 and just keep refreshing. And the same concept applies to all the players. I think the next, I wrote it down, the next most expensive card is, I think it's Zach Levine or Joel. And actually, I think it's Kyrie Irving. We'll do Kyrie Irving for an example. And then Joel Embiid, and then you guys get the point. And you can go look, obviously, the players yourself. But Kyrie Irving, I was going to recommend 4,500 because I believe, yeah, he's going for about 5,000. So anything at 4,500 is going to break even. So I'd say, if, I mean, yeah, I'd probably do, I'd probably do 4,350 as we get a snipe right on on the video. That's awesome. Okay, and I have to, I need him anyway for double double. So there we go, Kyrie Irving, perfect, just like that. And if I didn't want him, I could go sell him for MT right now. And then we'll do one more player here. We'll do Joel Embiid because I believe he's like the second or third most expensive player. I actually already have him. So if I see one, I'm not going to buy him unless it's like a crazy snipe. But Joel Embiid, I was going to recommend about 5,200 MT because he's going for about 6,000. So I'm going to do like 5,200 because again, prices do drop and they're in the highest demand right now. So they really will start to drop over time. But so I'd probably do 5,200, just keep refreshing and buy anything that pops up. And this is the same pattern for all these players. You guys know how it works. If you guys are experienced snipers or watch my market update videos, basically take into account the 10% tax and then subtract that from the original cost of the card. And there you go. That's what you're gonna set your snipe filter to. So hopefully this video helped you out guys. Again, if you have any questions or you're struggling with the three pointers, please uh, either go check out my other, my how to you know evolve cards video, which I'll probably leave in the description or in the comments, or I will just straight up say this guys, just go to pro, go to a pro challenge and chuck threes in there 
you will make a lot more threes and use the right stick. Use the right stick in the pro challenge. That'll get you some practice with the right stick and you get a, a huge boost. So definitely go do that for your three pointers. But if this video helped you out, guys, go ahead, leave a like for me. It's much appreciated. If you're brand new, subscribe because we live stream here every day on YouTube and I've been uploading every day as well. So if you like this type of content or live streams, definitely sub up and until next time, guys, peace out.